How's everyone doing today? Anthony Napolitano here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to copy and paste a trade alert. And this is gonna differ for every financial market, depending if you're trading equities, you know, binary options, Forex, cryptocurrency, because every single platform will be on a different type of broker. In crypto, we use exchanges, and stocks, we use traditional old school brokers. Forex, the same type of concept, but they're Forex brokers. Most brokers do not do many things. Forex and commodities can be used on the same brokers, but most of them use different platforms. But all we're gonna be doing today is showing you how to copy copy and paste a trade alert from the alerts one platform to whatever broker you're using. If you're trading Forex, you're gonna be using the platform MetaTrader 4. You connect your broker to that platform to trade through it. All we're gonna do is basically go into the Alerts One uh, platform on Telegram. And you guys can see we trade many financial markets, traditional, uh, well, binary options, cryptocurrency, equities, Forex, commodities. We even have educational channels. We even have the result channels, which are very, very impressive from our company. But let's just say you go into a Forex channel. Let's say you go to the beta channel, for example, okay? Basically, it's telling you how to, you know, basically when to buy and when to sell. You just have to copy and paste the information. So we had a trade come out earlier today. You guys can see it's in some really nice profits already. But you guys can see the trade currency pair uh, for this trade was Euro and ZD. So the Euro to the New Zealand dollar. Um, it basically said action buy. Okay, what that means is you're buying in at the current market price. This alert, when it was sent out at 5.52 a.m. this morning, it was telling you to buy at the price of the market. So in your brokerage platform, it's gonna say instant execution or market execution when you place that order. And you just wanna make sure that that entry point, what it's saying right there, the 1.72250 is where the market's trading around. Okay, if you looked at this trade alert three hours later, you probably miss the move, okay? At the end of the day, you wanna be within a few minutes of when this alert comes out typically, and even within a few minutes of it coming out, you wanna see where the market's trading at before you ever place an order. So let's just say I wanna make this trade. I'm gonna go to MetaTrader 4. I have a demo account set up for this uh, video example, but I'm gonna go find that pair, uh, Euro NZD. Okay, this example. I wanna currently look to make sure the market is trading around the number where the order was placed, where it said, hey, get in at this price of the market. Okay, I wanna make sure it's trading around that 1.72250, that entry point. Okay, if it's not, for this example, it doesn't matter because I'm just showing you guys, but if it's not close to that number, do not put your money into this trade, avoid it, wait for the next trade. But let's just say I wanna place this trade. Okay, I would just go to trade, like I said, when it's an instant execution type of order, it's just it's gonna say buy or sell. It's not gonna say buy limit, sell limit, buy stop or sell stop. Those are different types of trades. So when it just says you know action, if it said buy limit, I would change this right here to a limit order, okay? Or a sell, uh, sell limit, buy limit, buy stop or sell stop. I would change the type of order that it actually is. Um, and some of the traders, you know, really like limits and stops. It just depends who you're following. With the beta channel a lot, they like to do a lot of instant execution, market execution, buying it at the current price of the market. So when you see that example, let's say the market is trading around that number, that alert just came out, you only actually have to copy two numbers. You have to copy the stop loss and the take profit. As you guys can see, the stop loss right here is 1.71250. So all I'll do is go to here. Okay, we'll just copy this information. 1.7, okay. 1.71250, okay, my stop loss. Then you have the ability to copy the take profit and depending which take profit you wanna actually follow. Um, you know, take profit three is very unlikely to get hit compared to take profit one because that's a massive win, okay? If you're gonna manage to trade yourself and you're gonna adjust it over time, you could use take profit two and take profit three. If you're just gonna place it and never touch it again, you're more, uh, I guess you could say, better off just doing take profit one. So all you would do is go and take profit, Okay, and then you see take profit one is 1.72450. 1.72450. Believe that's correct. Just verify your numbers, guys. And then you would literally hit buy or sell, depending on what it's telling you to do. This one says buy, so I'd literally just buy. But of course, I can't buy in right now because the market's not at those prices. Like I told you, it's an old trade, but you would literally just hit buy. The other thing that you wanna make sure you look at is your risk allocation. If you're trading with $100, $200, $500, you're just gonna have 0.01 in here. To understand what a pip is, definitely go to the university section in the Forex basic videos. You'll understand risk allocation. In a, in a trading account, you should never be risking more than 3% of your account balance per trade. And we teach people proper risk management because it's about compounding over time. But that's all you have to do, guys. Copy and paste a few numbers from one app to another app and you have the ability to leverage pros. As you guys can see here, 
this trade, you know, already went for over 70 pips in profit. Um, on a full lot, you would have been up around $450 already, which is crazy. Of course, guys, we can't guarantee results or anything like that. Each trade's gonna differ, but you just copy and paste and leverage the system.